Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel, Time Travel is Possible, where we continue to review all vintage items. This month I've focused in on some of the plastic blow molds you typically see for the holidays, so go check out those videos. But I will continue to review vintage Star Wars items. Uh, the one we're reviewing today is the 1984 Imperial Shuttle. This uh, this toy here is hard to come by. I don't have many examples throughout the years. This is probably the best one I've come across so far, and it's not even in that great condition. So we're going to go over the condition and talk more about the details, uh, the parts that are on here or the parts that are missing. Let's start with the uh, cockpit shield here. Um, you can see the uh, plastic is still in for the shield part, which is a good sign. When you go to open it, this tab here is not broken. That's important to take note of. And then on the inside, you can see the sticker placement is um, in the right spots. And then there is some sticker fading, sticker wear. So the shield looks good. That area looks really good. We'll put that back. Um, in the front here, you can see you have uh, four items here, two of them which are clearly guns, and I'm not sure if these are guns or if these are, um, you know, some sort of thrusters. The other part underneath here, and this is a big item, so I'm going to struggle a little bit with this. I can only imagine if you're like an eight-year-old boy in the 80s. Um, under here is the ramp, another important item. Uh, extendo ramp there for uh, stormtroopers, whoever's getting on and off to uh, take advantage of. So it's important you have that piece. Under here, you will see the you will see the um, the handle with the 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 handle with the uh, button on it. You push this button and you push it down as hard as you can to deploy the wings on each side. So um, when you, you definitely want to press that down. If you don't press that down and try to take the wings down, you're going to be causing some sort of damage. And then underneath, you also have the landing gear. So with this tripod effect, you're uh, able to stand up the Imperial shuttle. There is also the... Uh, we'll go over the top side here. The top side, we're looking at the uh, three, the two wings, the one on the left, the right, and then also what I like to call is the shark spin. Um, important things about this is the, um, the, the, the yellow. You can see there's some yellowing throughout. Um, and it does look like when you look at it closely, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, it looks like some sort of coffee stain here. Um, especially on the 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 uh, fin here, there's quite a bit of coffee staining. Um, that's common to see that. It's hard to get one that's pure this color, off color white, or pure white. So uh, that's to be expected somewhat. It's just how much is on there. And then uh, on the fin, you could see the sticker placement's pretty good here. When you turn it around on the other side, you can uh, see that there isn't as much yellowing, but once again, the uh, you have all the stickers in place. Um, when it's up, you can tell that everything's pretty straight. The shark fin's up and down. The symmetry's good as far as where the, the wings land on both sides. Um, it is important on the shark's fin, um, and maybe we'll go over that later, but in the back here, um, you, you know, you want it, it's gonna wobble a little, but many of these, when they fall, um, or drop out of a kid's hand, uh, this part would get really bad and it would, it would come out a little bit and not go back in completely. So that could be a problem. This one's straight up and down, which is really good. Um, in the back here, if we look at the back side, you're going to see the, uh, the blue stickers when it's uh, taking off the thrusters, so to speak. And then inside here, you're going to have the uh, battery compartment. The uh, connectors are pretty clean, so I lucked out there, but the um, engine itself, which is about right there, um, the motor, um, it's, not, it's not going when you try to hit the button here and the batteries are in. 
So I do need to possibly take this apart, get back there, spin that wheel on the motor. It's seized up right now to get it going. You press this at the same time and spin that wheel and then hopefully that will come up. Here's another piece right here um, that is important and needs to be in place. So I am going to attempt to uh, deploy these wings. Um, once again, you got to hit that button underneath, uh, hit it pretty hard, and uh, I'm going to start with this side of the wing. Okay, that one is giving me a little bit of trouble. Let's try it. There we go, that one's down, and then this side goes down a lot smoother. So. I'm not sure if something's going on on the right side here on the inside. Um, it does seem like it could be cleared up a little more. You could see a, uh, sort of it's fallen down on this side where the other ones are closer up. But I'm going to put this back down so we can talk about this. This is what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's deployed. Um, so if the wings go up and down, and you can do that about 10 times or so, then as advertised the wings go up and down and they're not broken i'm sure there's some issues that can be cleaned up inside here let's go ahead and turn this in this direction um right here you can see that uh there is a piece missing it's the only piece missing on the shuttle it's the side door where the storage area is here um what what happens here is you have a piece that has three tabs one here one here and one here um, you will commonly see those tabs broken so the the most common tab to break is this one um, and a lot of times you can imagine this piece would fall off and you know mom or dad had no idea what that was or went that what that went to and so if you know it just didn't stay on it was lost forever so Depending on how many tabs are broken is going to be the price of this piece if you were trying to buy it online. And as collectors know, it can be quite expensive to replace that piece. Okay, So it does drop the value. The yellowing drops the value. But um, overall, you know, with the wings going up and down and the fin being in, in up and down uh, straight, you got this piece here, you got the ramp, you got the stickers in place. Those are all good signs, okay? I just do have to get that, that motor going. So let me just show you here, inside here. You can see there's some stickers in there. And uh, that's a little storage area. You can sit down in there. So that's a good little spot. I just need to find that one last piece to make it complete. So that's all I have to show you today on uh, the, the, the um, Star Wars imperial shuttle it's a pretty cool toy to have and uh you know continue to go check out my other videos the holiday ones that i'll be posting and then i do already have a lot of vintage star ones up the vintage star wars ones up there so go ahead and subscribe uh comment if you like and uh i'll see you next time thanks for visiting time travel is possible i'll see you in the future